All right, all right, everybody. Today we're going to be going over creating a new game. So if you are on an iPhone, you'll go to the App Store, just type in Age of Z. That would be that first one. You can see it up above. Go ahead and install the game and start playing. If you are on Android, it'll look just a little bit different. But again, just type in AOZ, open it up, and install the game. Um, it, when you open up the game for the first time, it'll put you into a tutorial which takes about three minutes to complete. You can't exit the tutorial or click out of it, so just make sure that you want to start a new game if you choose to start a new game. If you're on an account already, this is how you start a new game. Just open up your account options and then choose new game. Uh, don't worry, they don't give you a bunch of worlds to choose from. Once you start your new game, they will give you a teleport so you can teleport to any world that you want to. Uh, only the newer worlds are shown there at the beginning. Um, creating a new account is a lot of clicking and just speeding through a 30 minute video here real quick so you can see how much clicking that you need to do. Um, this will eventually go away, all of your upgrades will take forever, and you won't have to be building all these buildings or collecting all of these rewards. So uh, don't, you know, be intimidated by the amount of clicking that starts the game off. Um, although you, once you get playing, you'll probably be making several accounts, so you will be clicking a lot, so, uh, you know, get those fingers strong. Um, as we zoom through the playthrough here, just want to tell you some basic things about creating a new account. You can start in a new world, you can start in an old world, um, you can go to a different globe. Um, a lot of people use this as kind of a cheat when you get put up in Void War against another nation, so people will go make accounts in the other world so that they can talk to them on nation chat or start spying on their uh, nation, you know, go look at the rankings, see people's uh, uh, officer power, commander levels, city levels, you know, to see who all has SOS and all those goodies. Um, but for you, as a beginner, you're just going to create a new count and zoom through all the starting levels. Um, make sure to choose a fresh world. If you're fresh, um, you don't want to start in a world that's a couple weeks old and be way behind everybody. Although I do recommend uh, starting a kind of throwaway account. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of clicking, there's a lot of things. If you follow my uh, other tutorials, you'll see that there's some things that you can, uh, I don't know, do, do more efficiently so you don't waste a lot of time. So, you know, if you want to get into an account and test some things out, go attack some people, go see what's going to happen when you do stuff. Uh, I do recommend going and, as I say, get your jitters out, go screw up an account, and then start over. Uh, when you do start over, I do recommend making more than one account. Um, per email, you can have uh, two accounts. There's no real limit on how many emails that you can have, so uh, people do farm a lot, so we have many accounts, which you use for... Uh, gathering resources to give to your main. Some people will have up to 20 farm accounts, so you'll be doing this new game creation process quite a bit. In that case, I really recommend hopping on my 30-minute uh, speed run and trying to follow that uh, 20 accounts. Even if you stay, f you know, 30 minutes on each account creation, then that's 10 hours that you're saving. So when you open up your game for the first time, uh, it'll do some loading, you'll probably have to update a patch or two, uh, you'll get very familiar with this loading screen. Um, if your phone is very fast, you might not be able to catch the uh, clear cache uh, button, um, but it's there and that's where you do that. You shouldn't need to on a new account, but 
and we'll start this walkthrough. Go ahead and hit the skip button unless you want to watch the intro video, but uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the game, so feel free to watch it. Uh, we'll skip all this tutorial stuff since you'll be watching my videos and I'll do a better explanation of the game can and a far more in-depth explanation on everything that you need to know. Um, so you'll just follow the tutorial, you're just building out your buildings, doing some uh, speed ups, recruiting a little bit, playing the game's tower defense, just going through some of this stuff. Little tip on the tower defense, uh, you kind of want to start off by putting your rockets at the beginning, so they'll do area of effect damage, and then the bigger monsters will get through towards the end, and then you'll put lasers and uh, machine guns towards the end, and they'll take off those high health single targets. And just continue the tutorial. And skip all this stuff. If you want to read all of it, you can. It just takes a lot of time. Um, there's not really anything important. It's just telling you this is where you recruit troops. <laughs> and don't worry, you'll be doing it a lot, so you'll get used to it. Alright, and at this point, here's your Doomsday Recovery Plan. This is kind of your guide to get through these first levels and tutorial, but at this point we go ahead and skip the Doomsday Plan and boost up our wall and main hall to level 4, and then that gives you the Terms of Service Agreement, which once you accept that and change your character name or your city name then the game will not delete your account if you do not change your name then the uh, autobot might detect that you're just you know not a real player or something just a commander account as they call it and uh, if a commander account is inactive the autobot system will probably ban it uh, once you get your city up to four, change your name, then you can move it. Uh, this is where, if you want to, you can go to a different world. I don't recommend using this method for your main city, because once you use your elite teleport to get from a old world to a new world, then you lose your elite teleport. Um, you can use this account as your one of your farm accounts because you'll still get a territory teleport which you can use to move to your alliance hall once you get it set up but uh, don't use this first account for your main account um, also hopefully you create several accounts and then uh, once you use your uh, elite recruitment orders then you can actually choose which one you want to be your main account based on which account gets the best, um, I guess, purple officer from your elite recruitment. So let me show you some examples of this. So let's say I created four new cities, and then I'm at level nine, so now I can use my elite recruitments. Um, this first one looks like a lot of farming officers, so we'll go to our second one. We'll make that first account a farm. Uh, this one also not any good fighting officers so this one would also be a farm let's see if we can get better luck on number three um medici it's another farm oh we did get an alex fragment and two zeus fragments so that could be a fighter and our last one we get a Stormbow and an Aeon. And let's do our second round. And Tifa. Tifa is the best war officer. Uh, so we would probably keep that one as a fighter. And the other one had three different purple officers. So I would probably keep that as my second fighter. Um, 
you'll probably want two fighting accounts and several farm accounts. Uh, that way you can fight with yourself. It will help you reduce a lot of losses. One other thing you can do is uh, invite your friends so they can play with you. They will help you reduce losses as well. Uh, once you figure out which account you want to be your main account, you can also ditch the other accounts if they have bad roles and go ahead and use the invitation feature and uh, get your main account some bonuses by inviting all of your farms. Uh, the only bad thing about this is one of your farms might get a better role than your main. Alright everybody, I think that's it for today. Be safe out there, and remember this is a game, so have fun. And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something.